Hello guys, this is Mike. I'm going to do another video here, um, another Linux video. Um, this is Ubuntu 16.04. I know the six month cycle has got to be getting close. It's at 16.10 and it's been out there for a while. But I want to see how this, let's see how this runs on the old CloudBook 11. How does this particular computer handle this? I know it did run, I know it ran um, Ubuntu Mint, or yeah, I'm sorry, Linux Mint and Ubuntu Mate pretty well. I did have um, problems finding the internet on the uh, Linux Mint. Let's see what kind of, how she runs on uh, Let's see how Ubuntu 16.04 long term runs on this. So what we're going to do, we're going to plug this into the side USB port here. And we're going to fire up the old CloudBook. See how it runs it. Okay, the light is on. There we go. Alright, there's the screen for starting it. Hit enter. I find that these uh, SD cards pretty boot pretty fast. I've used computers with the uh, uh, CD-ROMs and I find for the most part these SD cards boot pretty fast. There we go. There's the famous Ubuntu uh, boot screen. Now probably in a short time, I'm sure Ubuntu will be coming out with uh, a new, because their six month schedule is, I believe is due now. Okay. I want to see what all the, what systems we have here. How much resources we'll be using. Here we go. We should be coming into the desktop right now. Now in case you're curious, this little computer does boot from a CD-ROM, which I may show that before long. Okay, and just as I warned you before, if you hook to the internet with this thing, be sure to put it on manual or it will change your BIOS, time, and everything. Okay camera, you don't want to, you don't want to, this camera, I'm sorry, don't want to focus. Okay. Anyway, anyway, there's the famous Ubuntu screen. Seems to be doing correct. Showing the both SD cards. This com this computer is actually running Windows 10. And I run most of my programs, as I've mentioned before, all portable programs. So I don't know where. Oh, I see where the 31 gigabyte comes from. Yeah, the built-in the built-in uh, drive. All right. Okay. This is has the same problem. This particular computer that the Ubuntu Mint has. It does not see my built-in Wi-Fi card. So I don't know if that's a problem with this particular computer, or if that's a problem with the CloudBook with the card that's in it for going to the internet. Okay, one thing I want to see is how many resources, how much resources this thing use. Let's go ahead and find out. I've been told that, uh, and I've seen on some of the computers, it does use a lot of resources. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. Okay, we see our CPU is running at 2.5 hours. 9%, 5%, uh, running between 9 and 12%. It's not real bad. 
838 memory. Okay, I haven't had the browser or anything open yet. That's a little higher than some of the other, certainly higher than uh, Ubuntu Mint and even uh, also, I mean, Ubuntu Mate and also Mate, uh, Mint. So this is along the highest, and I've seen on other computers that this has run as high as 1600. Once you open a browser, and even after you close it, it stays at a high rate. But anyway, it looks like, let's see, is it snappy? Let's try this out. Is it open programs quickly? Let's go back to applications. Let's try again. Well, it's fairly snappy. So I don't think you can go wrong. It may seem to use a lot of resources as far as... Alright, well, that's not too bad. That's your music player, rhythm box. It's not too bad. But it is disappointing. It does see the built-in Bluetooth, but it does not see the built-in Wi-Fi connection. That's a little disappointing. Okay. Well, it does see the sound card. It does see the microphone. It's good. No sound effects. Huh. The old one would show have side up sound effects. Nope. I remember when when the uh, early Ubuntu you could make uh, you could test the sound with. Uh, well, maybe you still could. I don't know. I suppose you could still could. Anyway. That's Ubuntu on this computer. I've got a Celeron N3050 running at 1.6 GHz dual core. It is HD graphics, Cherry View. Alright, anyway, let's shut her down. We know it runs it. We might see if there's a problem if you want to put this on your computer, your, uh, if you have a cloud book. It looks like everything works. So anyway, till next time, we'll see you guys later.